Hey guys, Joe Kane with American Motors here. I'm going to teach you how to do a uh, quick check on a used truck if you're looking at buying one. Uh, just some things to look for um, before you purchase it. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, the first thing I do when I purchase a truck is I want to check all the lights. I want to do a quick walk around. Uh, and check the overall body condition. All this stuff could get pretty costly if, if, uh, if there's a lot of body damage or, or lights. You know, you'd like to think it's a light bulb, but sometimes it could turn into being uh, more than that. It could be a wiring issue. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm checking the headlights, I'm checking the turn signals, I'm checking all the chicken lights, the cleaners, uh, the reverse lights. If you know, if, if you're there buying the truck from somebody, have them throw it in reverse for you. Check the reverse lights check the tail lights, check the brake lights, make sure everything works, and then do a real good job of checking out the body, checking brackets, uh, uh, yeah, again, checking all the brackets, checking the bodies, checking the steps, uh, you know, just make sure everything looks good uh, and, and no obvi uh, obvious body damage. I mean, all that stuff could cost you money. Uh, when purchasing a truck. So now we walk back to the rear here. Again, same same thing with the front. We're checking our, always checking the tires, you, you know, checking lug nuts and all that stuff for, for lug nuts messing or anything being loose. We're gonna do a good inspection on the frame. I mean, if you can, it's your truck, it's your money. You're gonna really wanna inspect this truck, but you wanna get in there and uh, see if you can see any kind of cracks on cross members or the frame, uh, you know, because. That, that could really get expensive. The fuel tank straps, check everything. Everything you could think of, check it. It's your money, don't, uh, uh, you don't wanna get yourself into a bad situation. Uh, you know, check your fifth wheel, check the condition of the plate, check the air hoses. The whole time uh, I'm out here looking at this truck, I'm also listening and looking for leaks. So um, I'm over here, I'm looking at the airbags, listening for an air leak, I'm checking the front, the springs here, I'm here, I'm looking at the brakes. I could stick my hand in there and check the drum. Drum's good. All this stuff you want to check. You really want to look. Again, I can't emphasize enough, the biggest thing with inspecting a truck is leaks, cracks, or anything major components broken. The other stuff you could typically take care of pretty inexpensive, but the uh, leaks, you know, uh, cross members cracked or anything like that could get pretty pricey. So the next thing I like to do is uh, pop the hood. Um, I want to check my steering. I mean, that's your, your steering is going to be the most important part, or as far as being safe. I mean, you want to buy a nice, safe truck. So get in there, check the steering. You're checking the tie rod tube for any kind of bent uh, 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 being bent. You're going to check your steering uh, steering column here for uh, play in your U joints. Make sure everything looks good there. I mean, you can't jack the truck up visually inspecting it for the kingpins, but hopefully the person you're buying the truck from already did that. Uh, the second thing you really want to do under here is uh, really check for leaks. I mean, engine, engine oil leaks, transmission leaks, coolant leaks, that's when stuff could get real expensive on a used truck. So what I like to do, I always like to check the back of the motor, uh, you know, around the head here, you know, the front structure, uh, compressors, everything. I, I want to make sure that this truck is not leaking oil or coolant anywhere. Uh, so I take a good look and uh, check under the truck, check, uh, check the front of the truck, make sure we don't have any oil leaks. If all that checks out good, uh, uh, then I check my hoses, make sure nothing's rubbing, look at my electrical, make sure nothing looks like it's been on fire or anything like that at any point. Uh, I really want to check that. I'll go ahead and uh, take a walk to the other side. Now I want to check, uh, this is a pre-emission truck without uh, any of the DPFs or sensors or anything, but I want to get in here and I want to check around the exhaust manifold and check for exhaust leaks. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but exhaust leaks can get pretty expensive. Again, on this side of the motor, you have your oil cooler, EGR. I'm checking for coolant leaks. That stuff could get expensive. Um, you know, all your mounting brackets here you want to look at, make sure nothing's loose or any kind of uh, uh, anything's broke there. All that stuff could get pricey. Uh, it's not a bad idea to come up here and shake your radiator, 
uh, check the front of your radiator for leaks or obstruction. Uh, really, you just want to check everything. Check your check your leaf springs. Uh, check them for cracks. I mean, just go through a truck nice and well. Uh, you know, be, before I get done with the engine side, and I know we're doing this pretty quick, so there's probably some things I'm missing here. So, uh, but uh, second thing, you always want to check your brakes. Uh, um, anytime you have the hood open. I think that's probably one of the most obvious and easiest things to do. Check the brakes and tires on the uh, before you shut the hood. But this is kind of my routine uh, when I look at a truck. Right now we're looking at bushings uh, on these trucks. I mean, that's a pretty tight bushing. Uh, you know, make sure your suspension and your torque and tracking arms aren't worn out. Uh, you know, if you're looking at a heavier truck, you know, you always want to look at rust. How much rust is there? Uh, you know, a lot of trucks are going to have some surface rust, but if you see some really, really, really deep pitting, probably not a truck you want to get into. Um, uh, you know, again, checking brakes, checking all the wiring. If, if I see wires broke, I want to know what it is. Um, again, listening for leaks, checking my rims, uh, look under the truck, check the, check the rear axles for oil leaks. Everything looks good. Uh, Next thing I'm going to do is, I, uh, before I enter the cab, I'm going to fire the truck up uh, and let it run. You, you, you always want to check a truck when it's warm. That way you can go and check the blow-by. So let's go ahead and do that now. So right here what I'm doing uh, is I'm checking the blow-by on the truck. Now, I don't, uh, the best, if you can, always have a truck dyno, but if you can't get it to a dyno, uh, and you're buying a truck side on scene, always check the, uh, check the blow by. If it's spitting the oil at you and it's just huffing like a freight train, that uh, more than likely the motor or uh, uh, the motor's uh, not very strong or you got something else going on with the compressor or turbo. So anytime I buy a truck, that's, that's the most important thing, checking the blow by on a truck. I hope this video was helpful for you. If uh, you guys like it, I'll start getting uh, more in depth on some of the components and showing you uh, how to inspect a little deeper. Uh, I could also bring in some professionals and have them do some uh, more in depth uh, inspections on some of this stuff. Hope to see you guys over here at American Motors purchasing a truck from us. Thank you.